Welcome, Geometry students, to class today on this Tuesday the 7th. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. hope you're ready to review for your test. Uh, let me say right off the bat that I'm having some really uh, difficult uh, voice problems, and so I'm going to be seeing a doctor next week. And until that time, uh, we're just going to have to do the best we can with what, <clears throat> with what we got. And hopefully you guys will be able to hear me, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, there will be a test tomorrow. Okay, so please... Uh, make sure you do your review sheet and make sure you're ready for your test tomorrow. Uh, go ahead and turn in yesterday's homework at this time. Uh, page 147. Uh, make sure you have your name on it, okay? Make sure your name is on it. And then incompletes. Let's see, we have your incompletes real quick here. Um, <clears throat> Okay, boys, a lot of them, guys, and this Friday is the end of the nine weeks, so everything on here has got to be turned in before by this Friday, okay? So, uh, Jaden, Jordan, and Brandon, this assignment right here, page 123. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys to see. Um, Jaden, Brandon, and Jaron, page 132, this assignment here. Jaden, Jordan, Finch, Brandon, Jordan, Long, Brandon, and Jaron. This assignment here, page 140. Okay? So all of those things have to be turned in by this Friday. Okay? This Friday, or they turn to zeros. Okay? Moving on. Uh, schedule for today. We're going to take a quiz, then we're going to work on a review sheet. Okay? <clears throat> the rest of the hour. Uh, students, please. Please work hard on your review sheet. Remember, the more you do in class today, the less you have to do at home tonight. It is worth five, five bonus points on your test, and I definitely think it is worth it. I would suggest to Mr. Hamill, and maybe he's already doing this, to upload the review sheets so that when a student has a question on a problem, he can fast forward the problem. Uh, he can fast forward the, the video to the problem the student has a question on. Uh, just a thought, okay, whatever you think. Um, I would also like to say this. From now, when you miss class, you are to go home that night and watch the video you missed. Period. That is your responsibility. So if you're in class today, you're taking the test tomorrow. Even if you missed yesterday, the only students who will be exempt from tomorrow's test will be um, those, Mr. Hamill, who are not here today, or, of course, if they're not here tomorrow. Now, starting next Starting next week, students, on a new, a new nine weeks. Next week starts a new nine weeks. Starting next week, from now on, it is your responsibility when you miss a day of school to watch the video that day. Period. Okay, you're not missing anything in class. There's no teaching that's going on. It's all in the video. So, here's what I'm trying to say. From now on, I don't care if you miss one, two, three, four days right before a test or a quiz. You will still come in and take the quiz or a test that day if you're there. If you're there, the day I give a test or a quiz, you will take it because it's your job to watch these at home. Okay, that's going to really cut down on the number of tests and quiz makeups that we have. Okay, so do understand that. I'm not being grouchy. I'm not being mean, but it's it's really not necessary to give you guys extra time when you have the videos right there at your house. Okay, all right, continue on. Here's the, here's the review sheet, uh, page 167 through 27. Also pretty, a pretty small review sheet, to be honest with you. Without the help video is called Geometry Chapter 3 Review Sheet. If I were you, I'd write all this down, okay? The, the review sheet is page 167 through 27 all, and the help video is called Geometry Chapter 3 Review Sheet, okay? Uh, make sure that you, now listen to this. This is really important. Make sure you fast forward the video to the five, uh, five minute <clears throat> and 12 second part, okay? So you will want to skip the first five minutes and 12 seconds and then start the video there, okay? Uh, if you don't do that, you're kind of wasting your own time. Uh, let's quickly, let's quickly go over now what kind of fill in the blanks will be on your test, okay? Here we go. You will have. Uh, the definition of parallel lines, the definition of perpendicular lines, the definition of skew lines, uh, the definition of parallel planes, and the definition of transversals. So quickly write those down. Now I don't mean write down the definition because you've got those in your notes. I mean write down these words so you know what to study, okay? 
also theorem 3.1 through theorem 3.4. So 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.3, 3.4, you must know those. Also postulate uh, postulate 10, 11, you must know those also, okay? Okay, so uh, copy all that down so you know what to study for your test tonight, okay? All of those will be filled in the blank and there, there will be a word bank, okay? Now, also, you should be able to list out these four things. On the test, I'm going to ask you to list out the four things that we know about angles formed by parallel lines and transversals. And of course, there's the four things that we know right there when parallel lines are cut by transversals. Alternate interior angles congruent, alternate exterior angles are congruent, corresponding angles are congruent, and consecutive interior angles are congruent. Okay, you need to have those four things memorized. Also on the test, I'm going to ask you to list out the six ways to prove that lines are parallel. And notice the first four right here, one, two, three, four, are the exact same four up here. So you're really not memorizing ten different things here. These four here are the same as these four here, okay? And then the last two here, uh, two lines parallel to the same line are parallel, and two lines perpendicular to the same line are parallel, okay? So make sure you know all of these uh, terms here, these th theorems and these postulates. Make sure you know these four ways or these four things about angles formed by parallel lines and transversals and then know the six ways to prove that parallel that two lines are parallel. Um, okay, at this time go ahead and pause the video and pass out the quizzes. Once everyone has one, then go ahead and restart the video. By the way, any, anyone who was absent yesterday can skip the quiz, but they must take it by tomorrow or they must take it by Thursday. Also, next nine weeks, starting next Monday, I won't give this kind of <clears throat> I won't give this kind of grace again, okay? Because um, the reason is, guys, is again, you can watch the videos at your house, and so starting next Monday, if you're not here on a class period, when we have um, and my mouse quit working, hold on one second, guys, here, something's it's not working here. Okay, sorry guys. Well, anyway, students, what I'm saying is, is next, um, next nine weeks, uh, if you're if you're not here the day before the day before a quiz, and you come in the day of that quiz, um, you still are going to take that quiz because it's your job again every night to watch the videos. Okay, if you were absent, uh, really sorry about the 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 problem there. Okay, here we go. So uh, now that you have the quizzes. Um, hopefully passed out. There really isn't a whole lot to go over since it was a quiz retake. Um, I hope your students have taken advantage of this retake. I hope you've studied. Um, that's basically it. Have a good day. When you're done with your quiz, turn it in and go ahead and get started on your review sheet and study tonight for your test tomorrow.